Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add GeoJSON data to your leaflet web map to create a Corpleth thematic map. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So a couple things we need to do the Corpleth map. The first is to get the the plugin, the, the code for the plugin, and also you need a GeoJSON file. So let's go and start with just getting the plugin. So if you type in leaflet corepleth, you should come up with this result here, corepleth plugin for leaflet. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go directly here. Credit goes out to the, the people who put the code together. Basically a corepleth map is a thematic map that is used to represent data by assigning color. So it will look similar to, to this. And so to get the code, we come here to the green code button, click on the down arrow, and download the zip file. And I will go to my downloads, and I will copy that zip file, and I'll put it in my project folder here with my HTML code. So I'll right click onto that zip file and extract it. Okay, so I have my HTML open already and it's something very, very simple. Um, just to show you, it's just a, a, a basic map. I'll leave a link in the description down below too on how to create something very simple like this. And as I mentioned earlier, we also need a GeoJSON file. I'll put a link in the description down below as well on how to create a, a GeoJSON file from a shapefile. In my case here, I have Colorado population by, um, by county boundary. So what I'm going to do is actually rename this GeoJSON file to a JavaScript file .js. Okay. Okay, then at the very beginning, we'll type in variable. I'm going to type Colorado data equals. Now this variable name, you could rename it whatever you like, whatever makes the most sense, and go ahead and save that. We're going to bring in this GeoJSON data, and I'm going to uh, type out script source equals and I'm just going to right click onto that file and copy relative path and paste it between the double quotes here. Okay and close it off. So I'm pulling in that uh, GeoJSON data. Also what I need to do is bring in another JavaScript file and that's going to be within this extracted folder, leaflet core pleth, if I open that up and I go under dist, under the dist file, this core pleth.js file, I, I need to add that. So I'm gonna add another script. The source equals, and same thing, I'm just gonna right click onto that JavaScript file and copy the rel relative path and paste it between the double quotes and close that off. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is come down to the body and we're gonna add a snippet of code. And that snippet of code is back on the GitHub page. If we scroll down to about the middle under usage, we're gonna add this bit right here. And if you click this little icon here at the upper right, it will copy it all. And if we come back, we could just simply paste it right about here. And I'm just going to kind of select everything and just tab it over just a little bit so I could visualize it a little better. Okay, so as you see here, the L core pleth, that's the code here to, to enable the core pleth map, versus GeoJSON data. This is where you're going to replace. You're going to replace this with the name that you you added right here, variable, in my case, Colorado data. So call 
Colorado data. Okay. Value property incidents. This is this is the uh, the field that you're pulling from your your data, particular data. In my case, it's population. Okay. And I'm going to leave most of these default values here for now. Uh, scale from white to red. That's just the like the color scale. So you could do like white to red, white to blue, whatever you like. Uh, there's going to be five particular breaks. It's uh, defaulted to quantile, and the style. So the outline of the the uh, my boundaries are going to be white with a weight of two and with this fill opacity. Now the bind pop up here. Um, I'm going to change the last portion here from value. I'm going to say full. That's the, the field name for my county name. So again, yours is going to be different. So whatever you want that pop-up to be, you, t uh, you replace this last value with the field name. Okay, so I think everything else looks okay. Colorado data. Okay, so I'm going to save that and I'll run. Okay, so here is the state of Colorado. These are all the counties. And as you see, it's going from white to red. So the white is on the low end of the spectrum as far as population. The red is the higher end. If I click on to any of these counties, I get the county name, which I specified. And of course, you could always change that on your end. Now, if you wanted to change, say, the opacity and maybe the color scheme, come back to our code here. The opacity, maybe I'll bring it down to, say, 0.5. Uh, the weight of the white um, outline here, maybe I want that a little thinner. So I can say 1. And say I want white to blue. Okay, I'll save that and I'll refresh my map. And as you can see, the thickness went down. It's now white to blue and the opacity is a little, a little thinner. So you could go and play with that. But this is just a, an easy way to add core pleth or add data to your map in a, a core pleth thematic map. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a note down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a, a video. I try to get one out every week. And please hit that like button. It definitely helps me. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.